M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the ARDV10 as it's just had a firmware update. If you've never seen these before, it's a big, older design radio, air band, marine band type radio, but this is an all mode, all band receiver. So it receives, and I'm going to show you, DMR D Star Fusion. And with the new firmware update, they've added DCR mode. Now I've never used DCR mode which is described as direct conversion receiver, also known as homodyne, <laughs> synchrodyne, or zero IF receiver. Okay, so someone tell me more about this, I'm interested, but they've also added voice wide. So if you've got a Yesu radio, you can actually change it to VW instead of the normal DN for C4FM. There's actually DN, there's actually VW to get VW, you hold down the F menu, tap where it says TXRX, go to digital, select, and in number four setting, you can select VW, because by default, it's actually turned off. Um, so now, if we back out completely, we're in VW, we set the frequency on the DV10, and again, there's a learning process to this, because all scanners, in my opinion, are very hard to learn. So you go menu, make sure you select VFO and then enter, okay? And then A, B, and you've got the Z as well. Enter, and now you can type your frequency, 145400, which is what we've done. So if I grab my VW, 145400, you'll hear, and hopefully it's not too loud, that that will come through nice and clear. Here goes. M M0, M0 FXP. M0, M0 FXP. M0 FXP. Now look at the top of the screen. I'll do it again. I'm just turning down all the other radios that I've got here. Set up. Set up. Because they're all being detected. Because I want to show you other modes as well. So let's do this again. Look at the very top. Just here. And you'll see. Because I've got it into... If you select mode. Instead of selecting VW. I've put it into auto and so because of that it will detect d star and dmr and d star uh, sorry <laughs> and c4fm you just select d star yesu dmr plus the, there it is there dcr which is the new one dpmr and p25 i mean it, it just this is why these these are not cheap they're about 900 pounds so they're, they're quite a lot for a receiver remember you can't transmit so if we just uh clear go out i'll just do that again and look at the top, and it will actually say VW, M0, M0 FXB, FXB testing. testing. And it, that sounds really good, I think. Now, does it sound much different than DN? Let's try it. So pressing the mode button just here, which is on the screen. And it's a narrower audio, so M0, M0 FXB. FXB. And we'll do it again. Voice wide. M0, M0 FXP. FXP. No, that was what I think that is wider and does sound better. And you can hear that there's a you hear the digital noise for a second because it's in auto mode, so it's it's it needs to you know, work out what it's listening to. So here's a DMR radio. Now I really recommend that the Bofung DM1701. It actually has satellite mode, and there's my memory channels. And if we go green button down to satellite and yes you can completely customize all the colors and it's going into satellite mode press enter and look enter again even give you go no up and down with the arrows it tells you what you're tracking and then look receive and transmit frequencies that change as it moves so 40 pound delivered these bofung dm1701 with the open gd77 firmware but anyway so let's uh, go back to to go to channel VFO mode. Press the red button. So look, one four five four hundred DMR. Watch what happens. So we'll grab the radio. M zero FXB test test test. M zero FXB test test test. Now you can hear that. that's DMR. And look at the top. I wonder if it says it. M zero FXB test. Just checking. That might be analog. Yeah, just make let me just make sure I'm in DMR. That was actually analog. So I'll just show you. If you've got one of these and you're running GD77, you press the green button. 
go to channel details, enter. Up and down you can change the frequency, but then you get to mode, and then we're going to turn like so, DMR, select. And now it actually says talk group 9, so let's try again. So, M0, yeah, did sound a bit funny. Um, do it again. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Yeah, it's not sounding great. Let me just select DMR, see if that sounds better. So we go mode. Uh, we'll keep going to the right or the left. Then notice that it does actually have LSB, USB and CW. Enter. Right, so now it says DMR. Let's try again. Maybe it's because I'm a bit too close. We'll try again. Mike Zero, Mike Zero. Fox X-Ray Bravo, Bravo, M0, Zero. FXB. One, two, three, three. four, five. Yeah, it could be that I'm too close, or maybe I've got the power too high. Just checking now. M0, FXP. Anyway, it's working, but not sounding as good as it normally does when I'm listening to my hotspot, which does sound good. Okay, the next test, then, we've got bored of that now, is we've got a D-Star radio, 145400. And we're going to let it auto detect again so if we hold down mode it should yeah it goes straight to auto then select and then we're going to transmit m0, m0. oh it's so loud um let's turn it down a bit m0 fxb m0, m0 fxb m0 fxb m0 fxb and that's d star so we've just listened to all modes including analog and like like i said I could grab my HF radio as well and start transmitting on that. I can listen to my hotspots that you can see in the background. The white one is on C4FM. Then we've got the D-Star one down there on Reflector 30 and DMR there with the Genesis hotspot. So I just think it's fantastic. And if we want to check the firmware on here, just go Menu, then go to 7 which is comp, go backwards and you'll see I'm on firmware 2410A, which is the latest firmware. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. If you're finding these videos helpful, please hit the like and subscribe to me. I do appreciate it. And if you really feel generous, buy me a coffee and I will drink it because I drink a lot of coffee in this shack. Bye for now, 7-3.